Welcome to continuing coverage of the PDGA U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championships from Madison, Wisconsin, now at Elver Park. For round three, it's Grant Zellner and Sai Ananda. Really excited to bring you this third card coverage as players begin to make their moves over the weekend. Yeah, this is going to be a centrally moving day and moving to a new course as well. This is going to be really awesome to watch. Ever Park, a little bit longer. In some areas, a little bit more open than what we saw during the first couple of days. But then there are a handful of holes there on the back nine where things really, really tighten up. You can get a good look right there at the leaderboard. Cynthia Ricciotti and Henna Blumrush, two of the players that we will have in our coverage today, along with Alexis Mondujano and none other than Paige Pierce. Looking out at hole number one, a par three, 257 feet straight up the hill yeah this one is plays a little bit uphill too so it's definitely a challenge to really get it all the way up to the pin to begin our card we have cynthia ricciotti <laughs> cynthia ricciotti stepping up first with the honors here on hole number one. Opting for the cement tee pad instead of the turf one. Yes, good point. This is the only hole on the course where you have the option. Looks like she got a really nice angle to push up that hill. Nice little skip. Over that first little tier. Mm -hmm. Very it's well placed. Nice to have a, an oh, our next competitor, Henna Wurmroth. And a Blumrush opting for the turf tee. Mm -hmm. Nice to see a little bit of variety. Looks like everybody so far is going with a right hand backhand. It'd be interesting to see a sidearm. Yep. Off the tree branch there to the left. Didn't quite get the disc to turn over. Hopefully looking for a par. Next up we have Alexis Mandujano. Alexis Mandujano off the tee. Looks like she threw a nice flippy disc to counteract that uphill just outside the circle. And to complete our card, we have Paige Pierce. Got a 50-50 split with turf and cement. Uh, yeah, interesting. I wonder how much of that decision was based on the surface and how much of it was based on just changing your angle just a little bit. Mm -hmm. No surprise to see Paige throwing the disc extremely hard, just counting on the slope of the hill to slow things down. Catches a late tree, but will be roughly pin high. Henna first to play. Looks like it almost wanted to try and do a little roll there. <laughs> Luckily it sat down. It's Paige from about 50 feet off into the rough. Easy pars so far. Alexis, about 42 feet out. Oh. Ooh, Very fortunate to have that disc settle like that. Mm -hmm. And Cynthia, 28 feet to go. A little bit low, steep hill, steeper than it looks. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. I agree. Nice. Get that one in for par. Henna's days so far really predicated on how hot the putter has been. Mm -hmm. Tee to green, she's been, if not the leader, among the leaders in the field in strokes gained tee to green all week long. 
Start off with a nice card full of bars, not too bad. Hole number one played as one of the easier holes on the course in terms of how the field played in relation to par, mm -hmm. but at the same time didn't give up just a ton of birdies. It just also didn't give up a ton of bogeys. Moving on to hole number two now, this par four, 432 feet, about 350 to this corner bush. We're playing across the steep hill and then around this sort of corner bush and up the hill, another 100, 150 feet, depending on where you take that corner on. And here's the basket sort of tucked in this little opening. And position, I think, off the tee is very, very important on this hole. If you land a few, you know, 10, 20 feet too far to the right, you're really pinched off for your second shot. Cynthia playing first, sort of turning that into the hillside. So she'll have a pretty obstructed look, maybe a chance to go up and over the corner for mm -hmm. her second shot. Here's Hannah. That's looking really nice. You can see not a ton of ground play here in a lot of areas of this course, just because of how thick the grass is in Wisconsin. Alexis up. Now this may be a little bit on the on the far left side, but I think that's still going to lend itself to a, a fairly uh, reasonable approach shot. Landing near that long grass is, I think, where you want to be. Virtually no out of bounds anywhere here at Elver Park. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting note I forgot to mention. As Paige Heiser's down the hill a little bit, but we'll have an open look straight up the hill toward the basket you can see right there kind of has that back door opening yeah, available the to her gave her a little bit of an advantage there she was a little errant left but pushed the distance so much she had a great opportunity cynthia about mm -hmm. 220 feet out around that's, that's the challenge that can mm -hmm. happen if you get a little pinched off there trying to push the anheuser uphill very challenging shot Nice. Alexis, that was also from about 220, but a completely different angle. Looks like it came to rest just behind that bush there. Really ideal position for Paige here. Yeah, just 150 feet to go. Softly up the hillside, no problem. Beautiful. Now, Henna, actually a few feet closer, but again, a different angle. Oh, nice. Split through those bushes well. Yeah, came out the other side. Couldn't tell from where she was and where the rest of the gallery was how good that shot ended up being. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Gave it some air. Cynthia from about 37 feet. Not a bad, uh, not a bad putt from the drive that she had at all. Again, having to an extreme uphill putt now mm -hmm. twice in a row. Tricky, tricky way to start the round, but we'll walk away with a par. Nice. Swirled it in for a good birdie. And now, in with the first birdie of the card. Making it look easy. <laughs> Page matching henna. And everybody else cleaning things up. The wind was an interesting factor on this day, a little bit gusty to start, then it died out quite a bit. We got into the woods and then the wind kind of came back late in the round. It was interesting. There was a thunderstorm nearby that thankfully didn't affect play too much. We're heading there. First, we need to negotiate this par three, hole number three, 294 feet in the opposite direction across that clearing. Mm -hmm. 
So we're sort of stair-stepping our way up the hillside. In order to get through that gap, you need about 270 feet. Henna to play first. That looks like a great shot. And through the gap nicely. Mm -hmm. Might have a little bit of tree trouble, but not a very long putt. Here's Paige Pierce. Nice late flip on that one. That's a pretty flight. See the dust poofing up. <laughs> Saw it hit the tree, and from the tee pad, it looks like that disc was going to be well short. It actually isn't at all. A mm -hmm. little bit of an optical illusion happening, I think, here on hole number three. As long as you make the gap, you're going to have... A circle's edge putt at worst. Mm -hmm. Cynthia making it up to what looks like the green. Lexus just a little overturned. Mm -hmm. That's one of the one of the consistent mistakes I think you'll find on this hole. So now with some work to do here. Luckily, has a very serviceable sidearm. That should be fine. A couple of birdie opportunities coming up, beginning here with Paige. Made the gap. Has a look. Knocked her down a little shorter than initially I thought, so she's just a little ways outside the circle here. Stay up, stay up. Oh. oh. Great run. It was on the level the whole time. Interesting putter grip. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Whatever's comfortable for you, though. Mm -hmm. A little bit off to the left. Still trying to dial in that putt today. Henna. Opportunity. For a second birdie in a row. Nice. Catch her on that left side, but they're going in. And as everybody else cleans up their par putts, Hannah picks up a stroke on the card. That's a very nice way to start the round. Yeah. And we go yet further up the hill to play back across in again the other direction, mm -hmm. the same direction as we played on hole number two. So just working our way higher and higher up this hill. A little bit of topography here in southern Wisconsin. Hole number four, par three, 318 feet. I called this the gate. You need to get by these three trees. They're about 90 feet off the tee pad and then things open up for you. The bush here, about 255, and the basket, 318 from the front of the tee pad. Probably one of the most exposed areas on the course. I would say so, yeah. You climb your way up the hill and then dive into the woods. Oh, wow. I actually haven't seen anyone pure that uh, center gap. But well, wow. you just did. <laughs> Amazing shot. Amazing shot. Don't hit your head, Henna. Here's Paige. Again, going through the middle gap. Yep, catching that first tree, mm -hmm. so only only getting about 90 feet or so of progress. Gate did not let her pass. <laughs> you shall luckily not a nice, pass. Yeah, luckily a nice uh, open <laughs> approach shot from there, though. Cynthia deciding to go over the top. This is the shot that I saw a little bit more consistently. Mm -hmm. Just outside the circle, you can see the little tuft there. And now Alexis. Mm. Oh, 
catches the same tree that Paige caught. And we'll play first here. 225 still remaining. Nice and wide. Look how the hill plays. That's looking really good. Yep, counting on this thicker grass out in the open to stop things, and it does. You can kind of see here how the the hill plays a little bit sideways. So those hyzers are a little bit more likely to fall down. Looks like pages up if there. If you see a parsnip, by the way, will you point it out? Because I keep hearing about these parsnips, mm -hmm. and I know that they can give you a rash, and I know that they're around, but I honestly don't really know what I'm looking for. Uh, <laughs> so a, if you see one. Yeah. <laughs> Cynthia with a nice bid there. I don't want to inadvertently kneel down in a field of oh, parsnips today. Flower. Yeah, mm, <laughs> nice. I learned actually that it is the plant's natural defense against the sun. They produce this this oil that protects them sunscreen. from yeah, that it's their sunscreen <laughs> and we just happen to be highly allergic to it. People screen. Yeah, unlike poison oak or poison ivy which doesn't want you to touch it right. and actually has a, a toxin to so you so us humans don't want to touch it anymore. Alexis cleaning up her par after that excellent approach. And, and Henry, now last to putt. Last to putt, but carding the only birdie. Beautiful. So, Hannah, making moves already early in round number three. We'll see if she can sustain that momentum as we get a little bit closer to the wooded holes that will start here in just a little while. Good job, buddy. I can't believe it. You're up next. Stay turning. Uh oh. Oh no. Ew. Wow. Out of so inbounds. That's exactly. She, I mean, Unbelievable. The MVP Black Hole Pro is the best portable basket on the market. Out of the van, out of the case, and set up in under 60 seconds. The Black Hole Pro has a very easy setup and a very easy breakdown. It's perfect for any sort of practice putting, and I would recommend it for anyone who needs a portable basket. It's easy to transport, super versatile. It has a really good hitbox, so it catches really well. I genuinely think it's the best portable basket on the market. Well, number five measures 354 feet the wind on this particular day into the players' faces. Again, no out of bounds at all here, but you've got sort of a defined route that takes you a little bit out to the left and then back down toward the right in order to access this pin. Yeah, this is a very, very interesting hole with the bushes left and right off the tee and then this nice almost kind of Anheuser finish. And I'm playing first. Very fortunate to yeah. trickle most of the way out there. I actually threw this hole uh, in my sort of preparing for the tournament, getting some idea of the sight lines, and found I think this hole plays longer mm -hmm. than it feels like it should at 354 feet. Yeah. I don't know if it's the Page lay of the it hill. Look short, but. I know, Paige <laughs> making it look short, as Paige often does. Yeah, I think the uh, the technicality of how the flight of the disc, I think, makes it play a little bit longer with how hard you have to hit it, mm -hmm. to, hit it to turn over the way you need to. But not let it turn over so much that you're kind of errant in those bushes to the right, basically. Yep. I've seen a lot of players in both Boom. bushy areas. Wow. I love the Smash. And, and we've seen the distance that Alexis can put on a sidearm. So you get some idea that that sidearm was smashed and yet she's still well short. 
Hannah with Get a over there. beautiful upshot considering she had patent pending. Yeah, very little F, uh, way to put power on that shot. Here's Alexis. Ooh, good drop there. Very nice. That was a good run from that distance. Cynthia from about 70 feet. Not quite a death putt, but with how much that is downhill, that's definitely a, a confidence putt. Very smooth. Safely under the basket. Now Paige from about 50 feet. Good hit on that one. Really though. close. Dead center and on the line. Hannah from 27. Nice. Score. Keeping that momentum up. Mm -hmm. Alexis cleaning up the par from about 15 feet. Everybody else. Dropping them in. Tapping out. This next hole I think is really, really fun. You've got a nice uh, basket down on the trees and a wide open fairway. I really mm -hmm. like it a lot. Yep. Skirting the woods for at least one more hole. Hole number six, par three, 279. The biggest tree there, the one most directly in front of the basket, about 250 from the tee pad. Yeah, I agree. This is this is a fun hole to play. You just kind of there's plenty of room to air it out and really shape a beautiful shot right into the green. Henna with beautiful. sort of that trademark throw. We saw a lot of that in round number mm -hmm. two, that high drifting Anheuser putter. That was a putter that Hannah threw? I think so. Man, impressive. I I think it was. If not, it's a really slow mid-range. Mm -hmm. She goes to it with a lot of confidence. I like this line. Nice and direct. Push it mm -hmm. right towards the pin. Just inside, it looks like, in the circle I need. Alexis with another excellent forehand. Mm -hmm. so you can see the big old gallery out there. Yeah, we had quite a following here for the third card. Cynthia from 44. Very close. Still looking for that first birdie of the day. Mm -hmm. Got to keep running them. Alexis also looking for that first birdie of the day. She'll take a shot from 38. Boom. So close. Chains and out. Page from about 30 feet. It. Squeaks that putt just over the edge of the basket. Paige and Henna, so far only ones with green on the screen. And I believe just inside 20 feet here. Oh. Unfortunate. All right, missed opportunity. But only a par. Cynthia, cleaning up a par, maintaining a clean scorecard. Very nice. 
case. Alexa's doing the same. And everybody walks off into the shadows. As we enter the woods, yes. So now that we're into the woods, the thick grass that we've been referencing all week long, it's gone. Lots and lots of pine needles making up most of the ground here in these woods at Elver Park. 231 feet. This is a par three that angles sharply to the left. Classic spike hyzer. I've gotten my notes that the main tree to beat is about 160 feet straight ahead of the uh, tee pad here. It's mm -hmm. difficult now on camera to identify which tree I'm talking about, but it gives you some idea of how sharply the disc needs to be curving. No more than 160 feet before that disc needs to be moving well to the left, and Paige cuts that corner a little too tight. Now, Hannah, I don't know. I thought for a moment she was considering a standstill. Yeah, at 231, I wouldn't be surprised, but it does play slightly uphill. Looks like she cut that angle yeah, very nicely. Yeah, that's the line. Perfectly placed. In my experience, this is the type of hole where, you know, if you if you hit the line, if you hit the gap initially, you're basically going to have a circle one putt. Right. Yes, exactly right. Cynthia oh. proving that. Now, Alexis, going just a little bit wider. She actually went around the tree that I referenced earlier. Oh, so okay, she yeah. sort of found a bit of a back door. No problem, though. Still, yeah, right inside the circle. Paige now first to play. Still over 100 feet out. Mm. Mm hmm. So Tree's with some work to, to do. Yeah. yeah. You can nice see there, gap. just inside the circle. Mm-hmm making her stretch her legs out on the short hole. Oh. I thought that was clean in. Had a great line. Twice off the band so far. Hannah, that was a good putt after missing a very similar putt on the last hole for birdie. Getting that birdie right back here on the seventh. Keep that confidence up in that putt over the course of the day. Boom, in for birdie, very nice. Cynthia's first birdie of the afternoon. Right, breaking the seal. <laughs> and that, now Alexis. Doing the same. All right, so everybody on the board. Took seven holes to get there. Everybody on the board now in round three. Oh, what a cool POV to see the disc flying through the screen like that. And the ponytail whip around mm -hmm. right into the face. It's okay, she's used to it. Hole eight is a 666 foot par four. It looks like we're getting a sudden reprieve from the woods. Don't worry about it. We'll be right back in there in just a second. But first we play out into this open area and then down to the right. The basket placed in kind of a bowl down here yeah, off to the right. Just a little bit of a, a basin down there near the edge of the woods. And I think you want to, off the tee, you definitely want to take the drive as far left as possible to give you as much room as you can. I mean, unless you've got a really nice sidearm approach, which obviously Alexis does, but I think everybody's going to try and get as far left on the fairway as possible here. 
Henna just airing one out. Exactly. You could see the line it was on. She just needed distance and leftward movement. Here's Cynthia Ricciotti. Interesting. Putting a little bit more Anheuser on it, but that looks like it should flex out to a good position. Out in the open. Mm -hmm. No problem. Beautiful little clover flowers everywhere. Alexis shaping a nice hyzer as well. Out in the open, no mm -hmm. problem. Nobody, you just don't want to get in trouble with your initial shot here on the eighth. Yep. Give yourself that option for the second shot. Keep things out in the open here on the first one. And right there, you can see, oh, if you had quick eyes right off the tee pad, a turkey. Oh. An actual turkey, not like three birdies yeah. in a row a turkey, but an actual turkey started wandering out into the gap right as Paige went into her run-up, and it was making noises. Wow. Paige, after she threw, kind of startled and looked over. The turkey actually meandered down the fairway sort of along and in front of our players oh until it sort of veered off back into the woods. It was kind of a funny moment. Looks like Cynthia found those guardian bushes to the right there. Alexis with a long way to go to get down to the basket, so smartly keeping things out in the open. Looks like she's in great position for a par. Now Paige, how to get around this tree. Okay, up and over. Up to the clouds. Looks like she got past that last bush there at the end, which is the basically the final obstacle of the hole. Now, Hannah, she's just to the side of the same tree, so she has an open look. Smash. Mm -hmm. And to have a hyzer shot from your from your drive is very nice. Went long, in fact. Behind that the basket. Inside. Ooh, should be just on the edge. That'll be a good opportunity. So now Cynthia trying to get out of trouble. Oh, deeper and deeper into trouble mm -hmm. first. Mm. Wow. What oh, keep going. Roller. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Wow, just a just a few more feet on that roller, it might have trundled even further down this hill. Mm -hmm. As it is, 170 feet to go for Cynthia. All right, looks like she'll be in clean for that bogey. Here's Alexis from 140 feet. Great approach. This is definitely what you want to look for. Nice and open. Nice soft well landing. Yeah, the uh, the grass kind of thins out at the behind the basket, so if you air it long, it can go even even longer after that. This page another fifty foot look. I'm betting she wants that one. Mm. Knew it out of the hand though. Mm hmm But I think that was a, a good miss, given the the quickness of the green behind the basket. I think that was a, a good miss. All right, so the wind gusting just a little bit here and there. You can see the grass behind Henna moving. A nice challenge putt. Way oh, yeah. up. Way up and out of the frame. Yeah, got to love those, those hyzer putts. They always surprise you. Alexa safely in with the par save. Mm-hmm. Nice. Great comebacker. Very 
very nice. I think that was still, you know, a bogey, of course, never feels great, but I think that she can definitely take some solace in that recovery. Yeah, that roller out of the bushes was just a perfectly played shot for the circumstances. Get another look at it. I, well, I'd like to say we get another look at Henna's putt, but she putted so high, it's even out of the frame of the catch cam here. And that was a great clean make too. Nice on the right side, fell perfectly in. The final hole of this opening nine for round number three, another par four, 453 feet, a tight gap initially. Things widen out just a bit and then tighten up yet again, back to the right. And this one plays slightly downhill as opposed to some of the uphill shots that we've had. So I think there's a really good opportunity for birdie on this one to get the disc to carry. Sure, no doubt about it. P playing is probably a slightly soft par four. And a plane first, early trees. But because it's a, a shorty of a par four, still an opportunity to get up around the basket and even an opportunity to score the birdie. Right. And with good birdie opportunity, definitely doesn't mean there is an opportunity also to get into some trouble with this fairway. Alexis, nice. perfectly shaped. That V-shaped tree right there, about 290 feet from the T. Cuts it pretty tight, but let's see how it plays out. Oh, interesting little cut roller there to bring her to the open. I Ooh, wondered and about then back that. In. Yeah, I wondered about that. I didn't, from where I was standing, you couldn't see that disc come to the ground. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we can see that little grassy line there. Cynthia. Oh, I think Cynthia's going to like that one. Made it just past those bee trees. Just a touch into the woods there, but I think she'll be she'll be looking at a decent shot with the distance she got. Beautiful. Yeah. Nearly pin deep. No worries there. So Henna to play first. Awkward stance. From 280 feet, just can't quite get the release that she needed. Can't get it flat enough. So back into the rough. Alexis looking at just about 150 feet to go. Excellent checkup. Paige now, this a bit of bad luck off of that cut roller that then sort of stood up and continued mm -hmm. down here. Yeah, she's faced with a little bit of a wall here. It'll be interesting to see how she gets out of it. Looks like she's lining up roller. Making sure she has good clearance. Catches that tree trunk and ricochets a bit further to the right. That that was very, very close to curling through that little gap and yeah. ended up right under the basket. Kind of trying to figure things out. Oh, what a tricky little window we can see here. Mm. Very nice. Well played. Cynthia, kind of a similar circumstance to Paige. Fortunately, a lot closer though able to just mm -hmm. sort of fan a little forehand out there yep. still has a birdie opportunity now this is Paige from oh. 45 feet to Had nearly to as far yeah nearly as far the other side so now And that's to save a par from about 14 feet. Very nice. So now 
page. Still a 20-footer or so to clean things up and salvage a bogey. Puts it in the center. Yeah, so hurts just a little bit, being that this was such a short par four, but shows that even short par fours can have some teeth. Absolutely. Especially on such a technical course as Elver. Very nice. In for the birdie. And in for the birdie, both Cynthia and Alexis. Getting some birdies a little bit later in that front nine. Yeah, catching back up. Going, yeah. Very nice. That's that's the exact spot, at least for me, that's the exact spot I want to hit a putt. Right side up in that upper hand corner. Well done. Henna with a stellar opening nine. Five under par through nine. Everybody else. Even par or better as we venture into the even more technical part of Elver Park mm -hmm. for the back nine here in round three. Make sure you are following the PDGA, liking and subscribing, all of those things on all of our social channels, including here on YouTube for continuing coverage of the 2022 PDGA U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championships from Madison, Wisconsin.